I want to talk to you about something very serious today. Very serious. It's not the normal kind of have fun goldfish and stuff. Very serious stuff. And that's smallmouth bass. Get in here! Get in the boat! <laughs> those two because it's like a harmony or excuse me a marriage in harmony here a matrimony in heaven it's a smallmouth bass alabama rig i'm telling you if you don't throw it you're missing out big time i don't care what season you're talking even right now in the heat of the summer on northern lake perhaps the best summer smallmouth bass bait is one that catches two at once can i think i can carry fry two smallmouth at once that of course is the umbrella rig Oh my gosh, I probably should have tried to swing that, didn't I? Oh my, oh my gosh! How about that, huh? <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we just on a we're still on the, we're fishing a win, obviously. You can see, and there's a big point coming out here with a lot of sand and there's some mixing weeds. And we were throwing some baits through here and uh, we, we, we didn't get bit in anything. I just caught a little eight incher on the umbrella rig and we just kept thinking, there's gotta be some fish through here. And, well, that's not a bad start, huh? huh? Now, one of the things I do that it might be a little bit different than others, I, I, I feel a lot of uh, fishermen are doing this and for good reason. They're attaching one of these to their line and then putting the Alabama rig on. And what that really does, this thing spins a lot as you're casting it and it minimizes and gets rid of line twists. And it also helps your bait get right because you actually have a top and a bottom on the Alabama rig. This rig is a, by Yum, Flash Bob Jr. It's a good, relatively inexpensive Alabama rig, but I'm not, I'm not sponsored by them, I'm not pushing them. But it's a good one. Uh, other greats, there are many other uh, brands out there that'll do just as well. But you actually have two on top, two on below, and one in the middle. Is that a large mouth? Oh, no, the good old small mouth. Oh, yes. yes. Oh my God, he just ruined a couple of my baits. Look at that. Got missing a tail on another one. Oh, he, he, there's three of them. Look what he did. There's, there's two tails. Oh man, there's two. There's a third one. This guy, you rude, very rude. I'll tell you something else great about that snap here is when I'm running across the lake or when I'm in got rods and storage and the Alabama rigs are tangle everything. Well now, I can take it off and I'll take my A rig, put it together like this. And now it's not going to tangle anything. I put it away. Tighten this here. And that's what I that's how I store my Alabama ring. Hey Alabama! See they catch all sizes! <laughs> look, look how deep you got that bait in his mouth, yeah? And Jeremy just got some out smoked on his as well. Guess who makes him swim baits too, huh? Look who makes him swim baits. To help keep it in shape, in the proper placement on when you're retrieving it through the water, a couple things you can do. Number one, the weight distribution is very important. So I have, I like to throw five baits. I throw as many baits as I can, really. Um, and I want the two baits on the bottom to be the heaviest. So it's gonna run true. It sends that weight to the bottom as it's being pulled. And there are two ways to do that. Number one, you can put bigger baits on the bottom than the other three. And I do that frequently. And or, I will put heavier weights on the bottom than on the other three. That 
really depends a lot on how deep I'm fishing. If I'm 10 foot or more 90% of the time, I'll typically do both. I'll put heavier weights and bigger baits because it's gonna give me a better and longer cast. If I'm fishing in skinnier water, I'll probably have just eight ounce weights in all five of them and just use bigger baits. Ah. Uh, Not big, like I'm foul. He's got the A-ring fish. Oh, gosh. His A ain't too big, but he, he's free. What are we talking about, man? Look at that toad. Yay, don't let him go. Holy moly. Not that big. I didn't think he was. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's A-ring fish. We can see bait on the live scope and got all sorts of this good stuff that's got them. They're sitting on the outside edge. Huh? That's beautiful. Nice, lush green. Yeah, I like to throw it in the boat. Man. Something that's extremely valuable to me are the hunter head swim jigs that are made by Bite Me Tackle. Now, here's what I want to point out. Hopefully, you can see it, but we can actually feel that popping through. That keeps it in place. So I come through and then I just kind of smash it in there, and it really keeps them in place. These hunter heads are exceptionally sharp. Again, the bike tackle. There's a promo code for those in the description below. He is pissed. Shit, I'm not bringing you guys out here anymore. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right, sir. Man, oh man, that A-Rig is just been smoking. And my Loch Ness Lures Nessie swim baits. I, I, I order all this stuff by the dozens. Wife don't necessarily like that, but hey, it's small mouth bass. These are priorities in life. Oh yeah, he is a good one. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, oh my gosh. You, can... <laughs> you carry right fries right four pounder, man. Jeez, uh, Ooh, buddy. Look at that, some good. So if you live around the world of great smallmouth fishing, I don't really care if you're worth that smaller, smaller or littler, what's the word? Uh, not as large smallmouth bass, or some of the great lakes and huge smallmouth factories, Alabama rig is gonna put fish in your boat anytime there's a good breeze, or anytime you suspect they're keying in on bait fish. That feels like a jumbo! A large mouth. What in the world, man? This is supposed to be about small mouth. Jeez. That's a chunky. That monkey. is a chunky monkey. Tell you what, I guess. I guess we'll give him some love too. Large mouth like a rigs in the summer as well. I, I don't know what to tell you. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time, we'll see you in the water.